Hello guys, this is Becca. I have me some uh, iced tea. I can't say it's real sweet because <laughs> I don't put a whole lot of sugar in it, but it's good enough for me. So, how are you all doing today? I have to admit, I'm a little wore out already. Been doing them around this morning. It won't take me long to get my wind back and get rested, but all I've done was uh, got up, made up the bed, straightened up, you know, things in the house that, like you do every morning, and uh, got myself around, dressed and everything and for the day, and Oh, I've ate breakfast and wiped off the table and put the dishes in the dishwasher. You know, just the regular household chores you have to do every morning. Then I started getting around, getting ready for this video. And, uh, whew, if you don't do videos for YouTube, and then you don't realize <laughs> what a job it can be. It can be a job, I'm telling you. So, I thought I would get it rocking with Becca started. Um, <laughs> I started to say it probably won't be very long, but I'm not going to say that because I get started talking. And every time it's long, no matter what. Come on, base. Get right here in your little bed. There you go. There you go. Lay down. <sighs> okay. Well, you might be wondering why I'm holding the baby where you can't see it, her. It's got pink on, so you know it's a girl in my nursery if it has pink on. Uh, there's only an, one exception of a boy wearing pink. <laughs> and that's occasionally I put that little uh, gingham outfit on. Lenny, oh. Excuse me, I'm so sorry, guys. Uh, I don't know. This morning, I got up early for me. Um, cause you know we sit up pretty late at night. Most of the time, we around eleven, eleven thirty, maybe even twelve o'clock before we go to bed at night. So, on the nights that hubby doesn't have to work the next day. So we usually sleep to, you know, if it's more closer to 12, then sometimes we'll sleep to 8.30 or 9 o'clock. But if it's, you know, a little earlier, if it's around 11, then we might get up around 8. And that gives us, you know, time that we get in the bed and get to sleep, and that gives us 8 hours of sleep. And we usually sleep straight through that time, you know, unless we have to get up in the middle of the night, you know how that goes. But, um... We usually sleep to that time. Oh, well, we was pretty close to 12 o'clock last night going to bed. And uh, she's got her bean bag under my chair. And I can't rock. There we go. Um, so, normally I would have slept to 8, 8.30. Uh, Maybe even close to nine before I would wake up and get up. But this morning, for some reason, a little after seven o'clock, my eyes popped open. And I could not go back to sleep. I laid there for a while trying to go back to sleep. But I couldn't go back to sleep. And I guess it's going to show... I guess I'll be yawning all day because I do feel a little tired. I don't feel like I've quite got my nap out. I'm not just sleepy, sleepy, but I do feel like I didn't get my nap out. So I imagine a little after lunch today, I might be taking me a little nap, trying to catch up on what I lost this morning. I don't know why that I just woke up wide awake and couldn't go back to sleep a little after seven this morning. I picked up my phone, I didn't have my glasses on, so I couldn't just see it, 
perfectly, but I seen that it was a seven at the beginning of it. And, uh, sorry guys. So I know it was a little after seven because I kept laying there and, uh, I laid there a good little while and it was before eight o'clock when I actually got out of bed. So that's very unusual for me. So I guess I will, I will have a reason to yawn today. <laughs> I will have a reason. All right, guys. Oops, I did it again. And that hashtag is by Josie over at Josie's Jungle Room. Uh, go check her out. I will have her link in the description. Uh, so we're going to be doing that tag in Rocking with Becca today. And we're also going to be doing uh, Jay's tag at J Dolls UK. Her tag is New Dolly Clothes. Excuse me. We'll be doing that tag. Uh, so that her link will be in the description. Jay's link will be in the description also. Um, I'll try to put the hashtags like oops, I dolled it again and um, hashtag new dolly clothes. I'll try to put that in the title along with rocking with Becca. But yes, I got another baby. She's new to me. Um, I got her from Macari, and she's a Paradise Galleries, and I love her, I love her, I love her. <laughs> I got her hair fixed and two little pigtails up here on top. I love her, she's so cute. You ready? You ready? Okay, here we go. Let me make sure her hair's all in place. Oh, she's so pretty. She's so pretty. Look at Mama's baby. Do you know who she is? Do you know which Paradise Gallery style she is? Look at that hair. She has some gorgeous hair. Look at the hair. Look at my baby. Do you know which one she is? I love that hair. Love, love, love that hair. She is, in case you didn't figure it out, she is Lucky Duck. She is Paradise Gallery's Lucky Duck. But guys, once I got her, she came yesterday. All right, let me start from the beginning. You know, I've been buying, uh, actually, I've been trying to buy back, not the exact baby I had, but trying to back, buy back the same sculpts of Paradise Gallery dolls that I sold a year or so ago and regretted selling. So I'm trying to get some of those sculpts back. And um, Lucky Duck was one of them that I sold and later regretted for selling. So I saw her on Macari and it was such a wonderful price. Unbelievable how cheap, how inexpensive. She's not cheap. I'll tell you why. Um, I didn't realize that, though, when I was purchasing her. I didn't realize it. And the reason I didn't do a box opening is because I have ordered several things from different places. You know, Macari's being the majority of the places that I've bought things. The majority of the place. <laughs> It, Macari's has been the place I bought the majority of the stuff. There we go. Got it that time. <laughs> and so, 
uh, several packages came in yesterday, and one of them was like a big Walmart box. Um, I knew I hadn't ordered anything from Walmart, but, um, you know, I, I knew I had from Macari's, and so I wasn't just real sure. I kind of felt like it might have been the, the doll, but I wasn't real sure. And so I just went ahead and opened it up, and... Um, she was in there, so, you know, I didn't do the box opening. Um, she, she actually wasn't boxed like I would have boxed. Of course, you know, I, I like to take extra special care of my babies, and, and when I send out a baby, I like to make sure they're secure and that they're covered up and that they're not able to just rattle around in the box well this box was big enough she could rattle around in it uh she didn't have a diaper on her head uh she was just covered in a blanket that barely covered her up uh she did come with her original outfit and um her coa she did come with that uh, so I just didn't do the box opening, you know, like I said, I just opened her up in my craft room because I just wasn't sure, you know, but I felt like it was her, but I wasn't positive because I've ordered several things lately from Macari's. So I opened her up and took her out. She was okay. There was no damage to her. Uh, I took her out, and like I always do, I gave her a good wash up, um, because I hug and kiss on my babies, and, you know, I just would prefer them to be cleaned up before I do that. I fixed her hair, you know, her hair was just all curly and fluffy like, uh, Lucky Duck is on the website. But I, I fixed her hair, and I love it. Oh, my goodness. I love the way it turned out. I don't know what made me think to do this. You know, I, I took a, a pretty damp cloth and rubbed over her hair to get any, you know, dust or particles or anything that was in it out. Then I sprayed it with, you know, the conditioner and was combing it out, picking it out. And I don't know, it just dawned on me to give her the two little pigtails on top. And I just love it, guys. I wish the camera would really just pick up how it looks all the way around. Her little curls and, you know, all the way around and then her two little pigtails in the top. She's just adorable. But I got to, after I got her cleaned up and dressed, I put her on a little sleeper last night and for her to, uh, you know, sleep in and everything. And as I was getting her dressed and everything, I got to realizing she's heavier than Paradise Gallery's dolls. So I got to feeling, and I'm thinking somebody reweighted her. I think her previous mommy reweighted her because she's. And she sets up so good, you know. I mean, I I don't know. She's just her, she feels like she has extra weight in her booty than uh, you know more than Paradise Gallery's dolls have. And so then I got to looking at her and her little rosy cheeks and all. I think someone lightly reborn to this doll because she has pretty rosy cheeks not that paradise gallery's babies aren't already pretty and have detail they do but this one just has a little extra just has a little extra to her than what i recall her having i'm thinking someone lightly reborn her 
she's gorgeous guys I wish the camera would just could pick it up like it really is it's not doing it justice she's gorgeous and I after I got to looking at her and seeing that and then I, I realized the price that I paid for her I got one more deal guys oh my goodness I got one more deal for this little girl. But her new clothes, this is a brand new outfit, her little pink. It's a pink uh, shirt, has ruffle across the top, kind of like an eyelet lace. It has uh, darker pink flowers and yellow flowers all in it. And then it has the yellow pants. I wanted yellow um, bows, but I don't have two. I have a lot of yellow ones, but there's not two of the same kind. I wanted two matching bows, and I don't have two that's made just exactly alike. I have the exact same material, the exact same design. So I had to go with the darker pink um, hair clips. I wanted yellow hair clips in her hair. I wanted the yellow hair clips. She has her, her pink shirt on, her yellow pants, and her pink house slippers. So I wanted the yellow up top. But like I said, I didn't have anything matching or close enough that I, you know, wanted to put on her. So I've got to come up with some uh, hair clips. I need some yellow hair clips that match uh, for a pink for ponytails, pigtails, whatever you want to call them. So she will have matching yellow hair clips. Yeah, hers got to have some matching yellow hair clips. So that's the baby of the day. Oh, I didn't give you her name reveal. <gasps> got to give you her name reveal. Meet Winona. Well, turn your head around, girl. Quit looking out the window. Winona Faye. Mama's Winona Faye. I will have her name in the title. Mama's little Winona Faye. Mama's win-win. She's a win-win for me. <laughs> Hers a win-win for me. Yes, her is. Mama's little Winona Faye. So, uh... That covers the, whoops, I dolled it again, and the new dolly clothes. So, that's Mama's baby. I love this little girl. If I could just get the Reborns and the Ashton Drakes moved out that I haven't bonded with. If I could get those moved out. Guys, I love my Paradise Galleries dolls. And I love the Reborns that I've decided, you know, the ones that I chose to keep. And I am so satisfied with that. I am so satisfied. And every time I pick up one of them, I'm just, uh, I just love them. So, just, just a quick, just a quick, if you're in the market for a new Reborn, for a new to you Reborn, I have a playlist that uh, I have videos in. Go to my, go to the playlist tab, click on it, go to Reborns for Sale, click on that, and there's several videos under that playlist uh, of Reborns that I have for sale. I would love to get these moved out that that I've, you know, decided that I really don't want to keep in the nursery um, to give me more room for Paradise Galleries because I've just, as much as I love Paradise Galleries, they ought to sponsor me. <laughs> they ought to send me a doll as much as I love their company and their dolls. <laughs> Oh, goodness. But anyway, I love this little girl, and I wanted to share her with you. So, I'm going to get 
right in to I say get right in I didn't get right in it's already 20 minutes we've been talking so anyway guys can you believe this is the last day of September what did y'all do with what did y'all do with September why did you take it away <laughs> what did you do with September I cannot believe tomorrow is the first and Tuesday is my wedding anniversary. I will be married to the love of my life for 46 years. 46 years, guys, to the love of my life. And I love him more today, a whole lot more today than I did when I first married him. He is, he is, my husband's just wonderful. I just don't know how else to say it. There's there's not words. He's he's so supportive of me. He's supportive of my doll hobby. He um you know, he he understands my uh inabilities to do things like I used to do. He he's caring and he's just awesome. I have a wonderful husband. And I love him to pieces. So, happy anniversary, honey. A little early. He don't watch my videos. He's not into dolls. He, he supports me, but he's, he's not into dolls. So, he don't watch it. But anyway, I still wanted to say, happy anniversary, honey. I love you. <laughs> okay, so, our shout out today is... And, and I, I think I, not too long ago, gave her a shout out, but I wanted to do it again because of a top, the topic that I'm going to be talking on today. Um, Dolls in the Cradle is her channel. Uh, she used to be Anne's Colorful Life. She still has that channel, but um, she started out as just a coloring channel, you know, adult coloring. And then when she started collecting dolls, she added it all into one the one channel, uh, Anne's Colorful Life. Then as uh, her hobby picked up, she decided to make her a separate channel for the dolls. So she still has Anne's Colorful Life, but she now has her doll channel, which is Dolls in the Cradle. I will have her link in the description uh, so you can go check her out if you haven't. I checked this morning. She has 603 subscribers. So, um, if you're not already subscribed to her, go over and check out her channel. It, give her some YouTube love. If, if she looks like something that you would like to watch often, subscribe to her. All that helps her channel. So, uh, go take care of all of that after this video. <laughs> after this video. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, uh, like I said, the topic today was inspired by uh, Anne's, I think it was her last, might not have been her last video, but it ain't, hadn't been but a video or two ago that she did a video on this, this situation, and um, so that inspired me with my topic for today, and it, the, the topic name is, hang on, <laughs> the topic name is Shipping Outside of the U.S. I, I live in the U.S., and, um. Uh, so, the topic is shipping outside of the U.S. How do you feel about shipping outside of the U.S.? Um, there has... I don't... 
I don't know how to say it. I don't like drama, and I'm not trying to create drama. I'm doing this because I want to explain myself. And, you know, I want people to understand and not feel hard at me. Um, because I'm one that does not ship outside of the U.S. And lately there has been an issue come up about um, people having giveaways and not allowing international people to participate in it because they don't want to ship out of their country. Um, and it was against that fact. They said if you couldn't open it up to everybody, then you shouldn't do a giveaway. So, I was just recently, you know, I was thinking about having another giveaway. And then this topic came up. And uh, it kind of put a halt on my giveaway. Um, and so I would like to know your opinion on this. Do you feel like it's wrong for someone to have a giveaway and have it just in their country? Say, you know, I am live in the U.S., so let's, I'm going to use me as an example. Say I'm wanting to do a giveaway, which I am, and I say that it's for U.S. only. Is that wrong? Um, how do you feel about that? If you're outside of the U.S. and you see in this video, how does it make you feel? Does it make you feel bad that I don't include you? It's not that I don't love you. It's not that I don't enjoy your, your friendship. And I'm going to explain myself in a little bit of why I don't ship out of the U.S. Okay? I am one that does not ship out of the U.S. I have had a giveaway and included international and I told in that giveaway I told them that you know I was giving an item away but if if out of the US uh, was the winner then through PayPal they would have to have PayPal through PayPal I would give them a certain amount of money well I could do that, but not everybody has PayPal. Not only that, if I'm going to send you money, <laughs> the value of what you're getting is not going to be most of the time of the value of the giveaway. Because you see... When we have something already in our possession, even though we paid a good bit for it, you know, but we have something in our, our possession, we have enjoyed that item, whether it be a doll, whether it be a, a goodie packet. Okay, guys, sorry about that. My phone just cut off. I think I had too many videos on it. I had to go in and clear the videos that I've already uploaded, I had to clear them off. And I also emptied my trash can. Hopefully, it won't cut off again. Um, but I was talking about, um, you know, if I was to send something, if I was to send, give you money um, in a giveaway, it wouldn't be as much in value as if I was giving you either the doll or a goodie package with clothing items in it or whatever. Because, because once we have something in our possession, um, you know, and we have enjoyed it for a while and we, um, you know, we feel like we have gotten some of our money's worth out of it because we have had it a little while and enjoyed it, then we don't mind doing a giveaway occasionally, giving away 
that item, even though it might have been an expensive item. But to take one lump sum of money all at that one time, because a lot of times I get my babies, even even Paradise Galleries dolls, a lot of majority of the time now lately because I've been selling some babies, I've been able to just buy what I bought, you know, right out. Uh, because I've had money from selling other babies. But I was saying most of the time I get, if I buy it from the company, I get my Paradise Galleries. Even as, as an excellent price as they are, I get them on payment plan. Because it's hard to come up with $100 all at one lump sum. Uh, you know, unless you've got something saved up from selling others. So, it would be hard to just give you a hundred dollars out of my pocket, you know what I'm saying? Where if I've already got that baby here, or I've got clothing items here, and I make up a goodie box to send to you, it's things that I already have, already has been paid for, although they're in excellent condition, I'm willing to have a giveaway, you know, to show my appreciation to my subscribers and all that so I'm elderly I have a lot of health issues um, I have social anxiety I have another little topic I want to talk about about social anxiety please help me to remember I don't want to forget this um, Saying all that, I have a lot of health issues and anxiety and stuff, so I don't leave my house unless it is absolutely a necessity. And what I mean by absolutely a necessity is an absolute necessity. <laughs> I go to the doctor when I have to, and only when I have to, and the majority of the time, I cancel and reschedule an, an appointment because I don't want to get out and go, you know, if it's not an emergency, like I had that toothache, that had to come out. I, I couldn't just keep recanceling, rescheduling that one. Um, but a lot of times if it's just my regular annual visit or pre whatever you call it, by annual whatever, whatever you call it, your visits every three to six months at the, your health care provider. A lot of times when it's that, I'll cancel and reschedule and cancel and reschedule till I get the feeling like if I don't go, they're going to quit. They're not going to see me because I keep canceling this. And so I, it gets to the point I feel like I have to go to be able to keep my doctor. <laughs> and it may be bad to say, but I watch most of my services church services online i do go occasionally when i get to feeling like okay i just i need to go i need to show my face at church i need to um you know or if a situation calls for me to be there but i only leave my house when it's absolutely necessary and my husband does all the footwork for me. He goes to the post office for me. He uh, does the grocery shopping for me. He does any of our medicine pickups. He does it. Uh, Hubby does all of that. And he has, he, he's a pastor. And he also has a part-time job at a car, auto car place, auto parts place, look. <laughs> and he's a busy man he has a lot on him and then he takes care of me and then the things in the house that I can't do like sweeping and mopping he does that my husband has a lot on him and I feel so bad that I can't do any more than what I can do but saying all of that my packages, I always make the labels through PayPal, but I'm not knowledgeable enough to know how to do an international package 
through PayPal. I don't know. I've looked into it. I've tried to figure it out. I don't know how to do it. Um, and I don't go out. So one reason, I, it's not the main reason, but it is one reason, is I would have to fix it up. Hubby would have to go find out what needed to be done, you know, at the post office um, and all that. And so that puts an extra thing on him. But the main thing is the stress it causes and me with anxiety and the money it takes to send an item internationally. Aren't we already sending an item that may be, you know, we may be, have a pretty expensive item as, you know, like a reborn for the giveaway. So that's already expensive in itself. We're giving away a reborn. So then we have the extra ex expense, which is not cheap. I've, I've never sent international, but I've heard people talk about the prices of international shipping. And then that's that extra money. And then, so the person that was talking ab about, we should include international, was talking about, uh, then we should say that, um, if you have in a giveaway, then you say if you're international uh, and you win, you pay the shipping. Well, that's something that grinds against my nerves. I don't, I don't like that. I have come across uh, giveaways in the U.S., in the country I live in. And they were giving away a reborn, and it would be a beautiful reborn. And then they would say, you have to pay shipping. Maybe I'm just funny. But when, they, when I hear, you have to pay shipping, I don't even enter. I don't enter. Because to me, if I'm giving something away then I'm going to pay shipping and everything. I don't know if it's a U.S. thing <laughs> or if it's a Southern thing. I don't know. I don't know. But that, that just doesn't, that doesn't go well with me to have the winner to have to pay the shipping. Um, there's times I see coloring books that, and I love to color. And uh, there'll be a bundle of coloring books, and they're giving them away. But then it says, all you have to do is pay shipping. I don't get them. And it, it just doesn't doesn't set well with me. It, it just doesn't set well with me. So I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to tell you you have to pay shipping if I'm having a giveaway. So, that's just my opinion on it. So, the person was saying, because I did go back and watch the original person, the reason Anne did her video. Um, the person was saying, well, then just don't get, have a giveaway if you can't include the international people. Is that what we should do? Is just give up having giveaways because an old lady like me that don't know how to ship international, that don't have the money to spend fifty, sixty, eighty, a hundred dollars on shipping. Um, I mean, if I'm going to spend that much money to send you an item, I'll just give you the money through PayPal. But, you know, it's, it, it's hard to come up with that much money. And to think it's spent on shipping, you know, I, 
I don't know. It just doesn't sit well with me. So are we not supposed to have giveaways? I want your opinion of that. Should we stop having giveaways because we can't ship outside of the U.S.? Is that fair to our U.S. people? What should we do? And I know you can't please everybody. I know everybody has their opinions and their ways of doing things. And you can't please everybody. Um, so what should I do? Should I stop having giveaways? It did put a halt on the giveaway I was fixing to have when I saw that. You know, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I, I really enjoyed what Ann had to say, and I agree with Ann completely with what she had to say about it. But what's your opinion? Do you think we should just give up doing giveaways? Which Ann says she's not, and I don't blame her. But should we stop having giveaways because we can't ship outside the U.S.? Now, it, like Ann said, later I can have a, a giveaway just for uh, the international people and either give you a monetary gift through PayPal, but you would have to have PayPal, or I could send a small clothing item or something like that through Amazon, you know, that way. But it wouldn't be as, in monetary value, as good as the giveaway item would be. So I just, I don't know, I'm confused. And don't know whether to do a giveaway or not. And what was it I was going to say, guys? I should have wrote it down, what I thought. Y'all know my mind. I should, oh, I ain't going to be able to tell how long the video is because this is going to be two different clips. Um... There was something I was going to talk about, about stress. Oh, I wished I, I wished I had it wrote down. I knew when I started my video earlier, the first clip, that there was something else I wanted to talk about. I couldn't remember what it was. And in my talking a while ago, it crossed my mind what it was I wanted to talk about. And now, I can't remember what it was. <sighs> that is so aggravating. I felt like it was something important. I really did. Maybe if I talk about my stress and anxiety again, it'll pop back in my mind. <laughs> I w it was when I was talking about anxiety, wasn't it? that I said that. Um, my, 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 my. What was it? This is so aggravating. But yeah, anyway, that's my topic for today. I'm hoping it'll come back to mind before I get off the video. I can't just sit here twirling my thumbs trying to think of it. <laughs> um, I guess I could get off and wait a little bit about uploading the video. And if it come back to mind, come in with another clip. I really wanted to tell you about it because I, I said stress. Please remember that. Please remember that. But I can't remember what I was going to say about it. 
anxiety, anxiety. I don't know, guys. I should have spoke it out. I should have spoke it out. That way I could have turned this clip off, went back and found what it was that I spoke out, and then come back on with another clip. I'm going to have to start doing that because my mind, I just don't know. It scares me sometimes how easy I can forget something. But anyway, uh, yeah, I would love to hear your opinion on that either in the comments below or you can do a video. And if you do a video talking on that topic, please come back to this video or any, any video. You could uh, comment that you did a video on this topic and I can go find it. I've, I've been hearing people say that the hashtags are not working anymore. Um, I do know that I don't get notifications like I used to, um, on things that I really, you know, I've marked it for them to send me notifications because I want to, uh, keep up with a certain thing that's going on on that channel. And I don't, I, I don't get the notifications like I used to. I don't know what's happened to YouTube, but they haven't been given the notifications like, or I haven't been getting them. And I've heard a lot say the hashtags don't work anymore. So, uh, come, you know, come back and let me know if you've done a video on this topic. So, anyway, guys, um, I have no clue what it was I was going to tell you. It, it was about anxiety. I, I do remember that. But I cannot remember what, what I was going to tell you about it. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut it off. I'm going to end the video as far as the official way of ending it. Um, but I'm going to wait a little while before I actually piece it together and start uploading it. That way, if if this does not come back to mind, then the video will be just, it, it'll be ended. If it does come back to mind, I will pop back on with a another clip talking about whatever it was because I wanted, it was something I wanted to tell you about, about anxiety and stress. I don't know if something in particular, I can't remember. But anyway, that stresses me. That, <laughs> that riles my anxiety. <laughs> I don't know what it was and I wanted to tell you. <laughs> I wanted to tell you. It was important to me. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go. Uh, thank you so much for watching my videos. Thank you for being here, being a support to me. Um, thank you for listening to Rocking with Becca. Um, I would love for you, if you've made it this far, in the comments... Put a red rose. I think I think they have the emojis red roses. Surely you can find some kind of red flower. Uh, put that in your comments so I know you made it this far in the video. It may be the end, and then again, the to uh, the topic may come back, and I may have a clip on the end of this. But if you've made it this far, please add a red rose, preferably a red rose. But if you can't find a rose, any red flower will do. And uh, let me know how you feel about having giveaways exclusive to your own country and no other country. 
So, anyway, I'm going to go. I hate it when I forget something I want to take. I keep, I'm racking my brain trying to remember what it was. But I, there ain't no need for me to keep holding you when I don't have anything else to say. So, I'm going to go ahead and sign off here. And you'll know in a couple of seconds if I thought about it and come back on. If not, this is the end of the video. <laughs> I love my sweet win-win. Mama's Winona. Mama's Winona. Yeah. Mama's little Winona. She's adorable. I love her. All right, guys. Uh, I keep hoping it'll pop in mine. But anyway, I'm going to go. Y'all have a great rest of your day. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I hope you get rested up and ready for the the busy week again come Monday, and I will talk with you all later. Bye. I love y'all.